Hello there. Once again, it's Anton from Anton Bay. I want to thank you for coming to the collection room today. Uh, today we're looking at some Silver Surfer comics. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. And if you really like what you see, I have a huge back catalog of videos like this and uh, various, various other types of videos, uh, which you're more than welcome to flip through. Uh, today I'm looking at Silver Surfer. I don't have a full run of these by any means. I just, I've acquired quite a few in, uh, in some runs. And I used to have like full sets of this stuff. Uh, but I have sold all my comics at one point and I am during a divorce. And I'm in the process of kind of rebuilding a few of them. I'll never have what I had before. And I don't intend to. I had too much. But uh, I pick up a little bit here and there. And that's kind of how I collect these days. And I no longer worry about bagging and boarding stuff. Uh, so what I got is just some random issues of Silver Surfer. I got issues 69, 90, 95, and 96. Nothing in order, but I really just kind of wanted to give this book a look through. Uh, these are about 30 issues apart, so um, I just thought I'd see kind of how how things look in them. I have a lot of them. I had like 1 through 50 solid, and I think I had flipped through those before, but I never remember flipping through anything after that. Uh, especially in the 60s and 90s issues. Now, this is 1992. And one thing I'm immediately noticing is there's not a lot of talking, which in the old Silver Surfer that I remember reading, uh, he was like the longest-winded character ever. And I think he was like Stan Lee's uh, avatar of blathering on about stuff. Because that's all I remember about of old Silver Surfer comics was, holy cow, how many, like, how many word bubbles and words do we have to read? There was almost no room for the pictures. Um, this art looks good. I'm digging it. Definitely spacey. I don't recognize any of these characters, per se, except for, well, Galactus. I recognize him, but who doesn't? He looked awfully small in this picture. I was thinking Galactus is larger. I recognize Stephen Strange, um, which anytime he shows up in your comic book in the 80s or 90s, I kind of put that as a mark against you uh, because I'm not a fan at all of Doctor Strange. And I mostly just find his his inclusion into most stories uh, usually means that it's going to be annoying to me and overwrought with magic and stuff. And I, I just don't particularly care for Strange strangest flavor of magic and story influence that's a crazy looking thing and is his head transparent because we can see the background through his mouth that's kind of weird it must be like a one-dimensional head a slice of head chunk that's probably a, that's an awesome name your just name is going to be chunk Let's see what it looked like in issue 90. This guy looks like, well, he looks like one of the X-Men 2099. I doubt he is, but we'll see. Uh, the art's a little goofy. Yeah, I'm not digging. Like the Silver Surfer, you can't even, he looks so undefined and weird. It says he got so many different tone colored bubbles on him that I can't tell what I'm looking at. I imagine he is a royal pain in the butt to try and draw and also color without just looking super boring or super, I don't know, blah, just like a glob. Either way, this art is not good. Like I can barely make out the body shapes and stuff. Not digging it. But at least there isn't like a ton, a ton of word bubbles going on. Well, that's always good. You can definitely have too many of those going on in your Silver Surfer comic. It happens. Issue 95, Down to Earth Part 3 of 4. Guest starring the Fantastic Four. I don't know that he's not in the Fantastic Four, so I don't know why he's there. Maybe he's filling in for somebody in the Fantastic Four. Uh, for a team that only had four characters, they could not seem to keep their roster uh, very consistent, except for the Thing, because they knew that the, well, no, they were even replaced the Thing with She-Hulk. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's like, 
I don't know. I just, I, I'm not a big Fantastic Four fan by any means. And so any reason, anything I can find to bag on them about, I will. Uh, and the fact that you can't keep four members going at once, uh, that's reason enough right now. The art in this one is a little better than that last one. I'll definitely say that. Surfer looks a little too ripped. Like he doesn't, he looks like massive. Like I don't remember him looking that massive. He's looks, supposed to look like a fairly well in shape guy. Not like, not like that. That's like, that's like a chrome brownie man. This guy's like Mr. Clean. He's ready to sell us some stuff. An incredible guest star. Gee, I wonder who that could be. We know who it is. You already know who it is. <clears throat> Issue 96. Uh, guest starring the Fantastic Four and the Incredible Hulk. Looks like the art is looking even a little better than normal on that one. So, well, I don't know if I like that thing. He looks a little messed up. This is him post Wolverine claws on his head, so that's a thing that happened. Maximum Carnage is out in store, so that was good. Uh, Surfer looks not as ripped as he did in the last one, and I appreciate that because that one he just looked way too big. Um, but now you got two beefy guys on your same team. You got both Ben Grimm and the, the Incredible Hulk. Hulk looks even more amazing in that khaki shirt and pants. Crunch and And yeah, I still have no idea why Ant-Man is on the team of the Fantastic Four. Makes little to no sense in that regard. Overall, the art seems to fluctuate from issue to issue. That is one thing that's kind of weird. Oh, and he saved Nova. Like, I knew she was in trouble a while back. Uh, I played this Incredible Hulk game. It's kind of terrible, if I remember right. But anyway, you know what's not terrible? That cover. That's a pretty good cover. Anyway, don't have a ton to say. I'm not a big fan of the Silver Surfer, but I am a fan of this era of Marvel and just kind of seeing what they were doing at the time. Um, so I appreciate you guys uh, watching. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. And I will catch you guys later. Bye.